morning everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to vlogmas day three. Oh, oh yeah on the third day of christmas my true love gave to me three french hens two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree hey if you did miss that yesterday it's actually at the end of the vlog because we'd done it when we got back home from our night out. But we're in London still. Tonight we have Magic Mike, which we are so excited about. So I hope you guys are excited about that too because there's definitely gonna be some footage of that in here. And hopefully, fingers crossed, some footage of one of us getting pulled up on stage. So yeah, but we've just finished up packing our room. So we've got our suitcases, so we've just put our shoes on. And yeah, I had a really good sleep, to be fair. I just struggled to get to sleep at first. It was really weird, but this hotel, like, you could not hear anything. It was complete darkness, because there's no windows. The only thing I would say is it got really hot. I feel like the aircon maybe automatically turned off at one it point in the night. I literally had to strip, like, I was naked. Um, so yeah, but we've just got changed and everything and we are pretty much ready to go. We're gonna see if we can leave our bags in like the lobby in the luggage room so that then we can go around like Leicester Square, Covent Garden, Oxford Circus, all that jazz, jazz. this morning. Hey. Before <laughs> we go to our Airbnb, because our Airbnb won't let us in until 3 p.m. and it's 11 now. So we've got a good few hours before we can go to that. So fingers crossed they let us, if not, I'm not sure what we're going to do, maybe just go for some food somewhere and just prolong it out and then go shopping or whatever and go to the place that we need tomorrow. I need to go to Boots because they didn't have any disposable cameras the other day and the earliest I could get one delivered to me would be the 9th but I'll be back in London then and that is when I want the disposable cameras for. So yeah, I, like I said, I've got some really, really exciting things coming up in the Vlogmases but you'll just have to stay tuned for them. So for now, we're probably just going to rest for a few minutes then put our stuff together and then go. So see you guys in a little bit. Well, goodbye room, you'll be missed. Okay, so we were able to leave our bags, which is oh, great. Because now we can go for food and do a little bit of shopping that we need to do without having to carry our luggage everywhere. So we're just gonna walk to Leicester Square and we're gonna go for Pizza Express. Classic, our favorite. Um, yeah, it's just really fancy the dough balls and I could eat pizza, or I could even eat pasta. So I don't know which I'll get. I feel like I might get pizza though. Exactly. I guess we'll see. I might even um, try the cheesy dough balls. Nice. Really? I just want to try Yeah, them. they do so look nice. good, and they do sound really nice, but we shall like, see. What if they're like them domino cheesy balls? Mm. Like they're, they were amazing. Yeah, or like on the end of um, Pizza Hut pizzas where they have them little pulley off, yeah. like stuffed crust bits. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm going to start. I don't even know where we're going to be honest. But I get a lobster. I've never we tried lobster. We're just in Chinatown currently, as you can see, by the Red Lanterns. So, yeah, I'll chuck in with you guys. Yeah, to be fair, that would be a vibe. Imagine we just rocked up. Can we do bottomless crunch? Like bottomless crunch, like right now. Yes, we look like this, but so what? Okay, so we ordered food. So, what did you get? I went for the Polo Pesto pasta this yeah. time. We've both gone for pasta. I got all the lasagna. But you couldn't take the mushroom out, which is a little bit annoying. But I'll just scrape it to the side. <laughs> and then, so we didn't actually get the cheesy dough balls, did you? You just got the normal ones. No, I didn't. But they're more expensive. Mm. And do have discount today. It's yeah. Friday. No. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, look at the amount of butter that they've given. That is the best. That is amount. like the best amount. So she's already took them into hers. Oh my god, look at this lasagna. I've actually never had lasagna from Pizza Express before, so I'm very, very excited to try this. So we've got the uh, pasta, pasta, which is really nice. This is like the version of the creamy chicken pasta pasta that I make, and it's just not as good, is it? No, uh, but it is really good. So we're in Urban currently, just doing some shopping. I actually haven't picked anything up, I've been good. Uh, but Sophie is getting some bits. I loved it in small. What, so it's a bit more tighter? Yeah, because my other one I liked. I mean, you could always get it at home. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure I've seen it in there. So we've just gone to Starbucks. Sophie's got an ice white mocha with hazelnut, which is, it's supposed to taste like a Kinder Bueno, it but it doesn't. Um, you get it without the coffee, but then yeah. it's just like milky. 
Yeah, it works good when I try. Because I don't like coffee, so I don't like the white mocha, but so it's just that every time. Yeah. Little men. Because you've got two pumps this time, yeah. Yeah, whether they're getting two or not. So I decided to get caramel waffle from here to try. Mm. Very, very sweet. Like you. I would say though, it tastes a bit more like maple than it does caramel. I needed a cold drink. I usually get a hot chocolate from Starbucks, but I'm absolutely sweating, so I needed a cold drink, but it's good. Okay, so we've just checked in to our Airbnb. It's honestly so nice. It's actually so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Because it's like a studio apartment, I thought it'd be quite small, but it's actually quite big. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little room tour. So you come in the door here and this is the view that you see. So as you can see, everything's all in one room because it's just a studio space. But we've got this really nice table and chairs. There's a little like area here. This is obviously someone's house. Hence, obviously, it's an Airbnb. Then you come round and we've got the sofa, which Sophie's modelling right now for us. Um, we've got some pictures on the wall, got a big lamp. I actually love these sort of lamps. Someone else has got one. I think Sid's got one and she's got a white one. Um, it looks really cool. Then you come round, we've got the chair. Oh, why is this out of focus? So we've got the chair here and then we've got like a TV unit and everything, which, you know, you can see. Uh, yeah, there is the box is just there and then you come around and here is the kitchen So this is what it looks like We've got all different utensils that we might need. So they've even got a milk frother Wow So and they've got a coffee machine All sorts a Nutribullet fridge in the fridge. So if you said there was some sauces. Oh look at that Loads of sauces uh, probably won't be using them though and then you come around here and we've got like the bedroom area, so this is the bed. Really nice big wardrobes, like if you were to live here, really big wardrobes, wow. And then we've got some more bits and bobs on the other side of this little white unit. They even have a little massager, which me and Sophie did have a go on. It actually looks a bit like a willy. It's from the body shop, wow. Yeah, it kind of looks a bit like a willy there. Um, and then we saw that they have a camera. We were going to take a picture on it, but it's dead, so. Yeah, um, and then he come round this way, and then in here is the bathroom, which smells so nice and clean. Big mirrors, hi, and yeah, it's just really nice. We've got a big plant here. I'm not sure what's in this room. I feel like this might be like the boiler and stuff like that. Oh, it's locked. So yeah, this is our Airbnb for the next few nights. I honestly can't believe how big it is. Like, I don't think you quite understand. Like, I'm in the corner. And Sophie's like well, so far away. And my camera actually zooms in as well. So it's, it's honestly huge. Okay guys, so it has been some time. We've now got ready and changed. I'll give you a little OOTM in a second. We have actually ordered some KFC because we are a little bit hungry and obviously we won't finish the show till about 9 p.m. So I don't want my belly to be absolutely starving whilst I'm in there. So we have got that and that is on its way. We need to leave here at quarter past six. So we should have a decent amount of time to eat our food. And yeah, very, very excited. I can't believe that we're finally going to watch it. Like I got Sophie this for her birthday back in July. So we've been waiting a long time to go and watch this, but I need to actually go ahead and put my other jewelry on as well. Cause I just realized that Sophie you put yours on. But yeah, so who knows, maybe we will we've get got on the stage. trousers on case. We have the trousers on, but yeah, I'll give you a little OOTN. I'm feeling very shaggy vibes. And you'll see why in a second. So this is my outfit. Does this not scream shaggy? Because it does. And I didn't realise that at first. And then I was like recording a video to send to my boyfriend of my outfit. And then I realised I was like, I look like shaggy. Like the female version of shaggy. Like I'm literally wearing his trousers and then just Ruby, Ruby. the top in Where a different else? style. So yeah, do you want to give your uh, OTN survey? So trousers are... Primark. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And then top. Oh, I'm not gonna know what it is. It's an Instagram brand. Let me find Oh, it. I thought it was misguided. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Find it, because I'll be able to find it. Let's just dance for it. Let's just dance. Also, I'll actually tell you mine because I didn't say I think it's both urban actually. This is definitely urban. 
And these are urban, so yeah, full outfit. Urban Outfitters. Right, it's called Mercy, M-U-R-C-I. Oh. On Instagram. So yeah, earrings. Earrings, PLT. I do need to put um, a necklace on. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> look how so close we are. Like, I can literally <laughs> touch like, them. No leg space. Literally, like, the leg space, non-existent. But, oh my God, so excited, are you excited? I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm excited though. <laughs> Guys, we got a porn star. This is huge, like. Oh, that is nice. The size of it next to my hand. We just got back from Magic Mike. Amazing. It was honestly so good. Recommend it to everyone. Everyone. Honestly, like, we want to go again. Honestly, out of 10, Even 12. just, like, if you're not bothered about, like, the sexy men, obviously, like, we're not bothered, obviously, it's a highlight, but, like, it was funny. Like, they had, like, yeah. a woman presenter who was really funny. Like, it had a bit of a storyline. So it's it's very entertaining. Dancing's good, like they had like tap dancing, yeah. They had a bit of like salsa, like temporary lyrical, they got temporary lyrical, like it's just really good, yeah. Good and it was like a whole storyline as well, like it wasn't just sexual dancing, yeah. Like, it's just it just followed dancing. a storyline to get into like and to showcase it, each dance. They were like pretty clothed, yeah. I would say they were clothed for the majority, maybe in the boxes at one point, yeah. At one point, they were in boxes, but. The rest of it, they were in like shirts they just and jeans. Good. It, it was good. And then they were in like a full suit at one point. Mm. And then they were in like fancy dress at the beginning. I mean, you will have seen because I will have inserted some clips. Mm. But I would honestly recommend going and watching we're it. Again. If there's a group of girls, if you've got a group of girls, go with it. Go with it. Go with them. They've got the audience involved. Yeah. Like, it was, it was honestly so good. We didn't go on stage, but I did get a rose. So <laughs> that makes up for it. Um, but we did actually stop at Tesco's on the way back. I got some pistachios that match my top. Um, <laughs> I also got these crisps. Honestly, guys, these crisps are like the best ever. The giant what's oh, Love them. And then I also got a Terry's chocolate orange, which I am going to eat as well. And then I just got a bottle of water. That I can drink throughout the night. So yeah, I think we're just gonna chill. We've not really got much to do. I'm gonna edit this vlog shortly. 
and, and yeah, we had a really, really good night. So, like I said, 10 out of 10. 100% recommend it. We would have gone for food after, but we ate. Yeah. Before, so. so, I will speak to you guys in a little bit, hopefully. Okay, so shock again, just like yesterday. We've actually not done anything since the last clip. Um, so, it was actually on FaceTime to a boyfriend, so we were talking to him for a while. Tell and then, the yeah, tell him all about the show. He was actually quite interested, yeah. which was surprising. Um, but. <laughs> But I was editing my vlog as well part way through because obviously them two were just chatting, talking about the days and whatever. Yeah, so his boyfriend had been out. But I realised when I was editing my vlog that I didn't show you guys my rose that I got. I was like, I, sh I told you that I got a rose, but I could have just said that and made it up. But I actually did get given a rose. So, Lucky yeah. Man. He literally sat right in front of me and handed me the rose. But honestly, it was just so good. Like, I don't think I'm gonna forget this night. Like, it was just, wow. Do you agree? It was just, wow, we are yeah. going again. Yeah, we said that if we go again, we wanna go in different seats to experience we it from a different part. Sit, yeah. yeah, because I mean, the whole wherever you sit is a good part, but where we were sat, cause we were like front row, we only saw them really when they were on the stage. Obviously we turned around when they were like behind us, whatever. But we realized, I think you need to be a bit further back to really get the full experience. Because then you can see them on the stage and then they come around and they dance like in between the gap of like the people at the front of the stage and the back of the like arena sort of thing. Arena? Auditorium, what would you call it? It was in a casino, so what would you call it? Like, it's not really an auditorium either stage room i don't know but yes yeah, so i guess i'm gonna end the vlog here stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog obviously we're still in london we've got lion king tomorrow which i obviously can't film but we'll give you guys our recommendations out of 10 all that jazz let you know if we obviously enjoyed it but i think we're going to try and do something fun tomorrow just go out and about in london aren't we i really want to find that pancake yeah, we want to find some um, pancakes from like TikTok. The proper, like, fluffy pancakes. We really want to try them. So we're going to go on the hunt for them. And, yeah, maybe just have a little walk around London. And then, obviously, come back, get ready for the show, go to the show, have some food, all that jazz. So stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. But, like I said, I do hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>